a healthy business it's when the average order value of your of your business is like always increasing it can be like small increase but it's very important it does not decrease because you're doing something wrong aov as you could already understand it's like super important especially now when the cost of acquiring the leads is getting like higher and higher email marketing is the best way how you can increase average or order value with cross sales upsells and other different strategies hello everyone and welcome back to email einstein we are your hosts vera sadluck and andre say your name yourself because i know <laughs> you're very Boychuk. particular andre Boychuk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah we we learned um that about you on our last podcast that you're very particular about the way um the people are pronouncing your name so i just don't want to make any mistakes no no listen i made fun a lot on the last episode i'm not particular you people call me different names that even somehow they even try to put x uh in my first name spelling so i think it's mistyped but it's very interesting always to 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 see how people spell where, my where name. do they put x boy i don't know or like <laughs> i don't know <laughs> like I, thought, I, I, I thought it was a uh, like typo yeah but yeah. when co- people call me something like john so that thing is it's, it's weird like it's probably the but I'm, i'm not yeah I'm good with agree, any. agree. So in today's episode, we will be talking about 12 amazing ways to improve your AOV, your average order value. For those of you guys who don't know what the AOV is, the average order value formula is pretty self-explanatory. It's basically brand's total revenue divided by total number of orders. That's it. It's like simple as that. But it's actually a good uh, identificator of whether or not your business is healthy or whether or not you're doing something right or something wrong. And obviously, you always want to get that AOV as, as high as you can. So Andre, before we go to all of this 12 amazing tactics that we're going to share with our customers, why should people care about AOV what's what's the fuss about as you just said um, the healthy business it's when the average order value of your of your business like always increasing it can be like small increase but it's very important it does not decrease because you're doing something wrong because higher the average order value more profitable you are and uh, a lot of clients comes to us to help them with average order value because email marketing aka a retention marketing one of the channel of retention marketing is the best way how you can increase average order value with cross sales upsells and other different strategies and some of them will be 12 most popular strategies how to increase average order order value we'll be discussing today Yeah, that's what we will be discussing today. And you guys, you should understand that average order value, it's like affected by like so many factors, by variety of factors like marketing and and pricing of your marketing, that uh, uh, customer segmentation delivery options, like customer loyalty and all of these aspects we will try to cover in today's episode. But AOV, as you could already understand, it's like super important, especially now when the cost of acquiring the leads is getting like higher and higher so let's start from the basics good old free shipping why should businesses care and why it's a way to uh, like improve the AOV Andre so here's a caveat it's not just free shipping it's free shipping for example Amazon uh, Amazon doesn't have a free shipping they have there's two options either free shipping with a subscription of a price subscription or there is minimum threshold of $35. So I will assume, I might be 100% wrong, but this, I will assume that like Amazon's average order value might be $30 or even $25. And they said, okay, this is our threshold and this is how we will improve our average order value. That's why they put it $35 as their minimum for free shipping. So basically they incentivize person to spend more to save on the shipping right right and i mean you know that a ban abandonment cart most often or very often happens uh because of uh, that like little shipping cost at the end so offering free shipping can actually help with the uh, cart abandonment issues as well but also you can like structure it differently um so for example just like you and andre mentioned in shopify or in your like platform that you're using there are like ways 
price with some like certain apps to do that like tr free shipping trash hold, right? So you can like automate this process like that customers cool. have to reach like the certain trash hold and after that trash hold, uh, the shipping will be free. I don't even think you need like any special uh, like apps for that. I'm pretty sure you can do that with Shopify as well. Just like different apps, they help you like communicate that properly. You know, some apps have this little, little bar at the top that shows you like yes. how much you need to like add to your cart to basically reach that free shipping status. Uh, but also there are like some really cool apps that will help you to like upsell and cross sell products to basically reach to that uh, free shipping status. And we will definitely talk about the upsell and cross sell in this podcast today. Uh, one of my favorite examples that I probably like used in like a lot of um, in a lot of uh, episodes, we have this brand called Kits. It's like a Vancouver brand. They sell glasses. And we like literally talked about uh, the, the glasses example with Andrea in our previous example, uh, in our previous podcast. But they do have this uh, promotion, get a first pair for free, but they actually charge you for shipping. So I got my first pair of glasses for free. It was like $129 worth of glasses, but they were for free. But with all of the upgrades that I got, I purchased like special lenses. I purchased the case. I purchased like different things to take care of my glasses. I purchased like second glasses for 50% off. Well, I ended up spending like $200 for the glasses I didn't even need. So sometimes you can like play with shipping, right? To increase that average order value. And and just like you, Andre said, it doesn't even have to be like a free shipping. You can just like be creative with like introducing introducing trash hauls and stuff like that. Yes. Okay. Cool. And by the way, uh, we in this episode we go through the the freebie that we have on our website, so you can simply go to flowing.com slash AOV and download this kind of 12 strategies. They are very descriptive with example snapshots from different websites, from different um, email, so you can see it your, yourself. Uh, and also if you, I mean, on YouTube, mm -hmm. we'll probably show those examples, but if you're listening, we strongly recommend users check out the YouTube video or go to, to download this checklist. So strategy, I wanted to talk to you about number, like strategy number two, and it's a very popular one. We talk about it all the time, you people know this strategy, you love this strategy, but probably like a lot of you, you don't realize how powerful this strategy is when it comes to increasing that average order value. So good old bundles. Bundles are amazing for getting that AOV up. And for those of you who don't know what bundles is, very self-explanatory, but it's basically when you're like taking a few products together, you put them together. Uh, maybe you like discount the overall uh, price of this three products sell them for less, but in but it's still like more than the average order value than your customer would normally spend. A bunch of benefits this strategy have. It increases your sales. You can increase the awareness of new products. Like a lot of brands that I shop with, they basically bundle up their best sellers with their new products. So this is their way to like introduce new products to the customer. Um, you can also like avoid some like waste. If you have like low inventory or like slow, inv slow moving inventory, you can bundle up your best sellers with slow moving inventory. There's like a bunch and bunch of uh, benefits to this strategy. Uh, but basically, Basically, the magic of bundling is that consumers get an authentic se sense of that, you know, like getting more for less money. So it's like a bit of a marketing game, I guess. But uh, while increasing the average order value, your customer still feels good about uh, getting a value. Andre, what do you think about this strategy? Yeah, I mean, it's like... Same thing, well, like with a sh free shipping, uh, like you want to come up with something that a little bit more than ever, either a little bit more or much more as a average order value. I like a GoPro example. Uh, I mean, if you go to simple GoPro website, so it's not as um, dramatic, but if you want to go, go to different stores and buy GoPro, let's say like Amazon or eBay, uh, I like those examples where they just show the GoPro by itself is like like three ninety nine, and show the GoPro and it's like twenty five different like additional things that you like small things and it's like fifty dollars more, 
and you're like for fifty dollars so many pieces and i did that i bought it i used probably only one piece of that of those like like yeah. crazy amount of th things but um in that case i kind of i spent more so average order value went up and how i recently hear somewhere during some either presentation or some uh, training so the bundling needs to be complementary at something that kind of low cost for you it was a high margin mm -hmm. but the perceived value of it is uh, much much higher uh, Vera I believe right. in the last episode you were mentioning something about the or maybe Andrea was mentioning uh, the um, the bag yeah the Andrea was talking about the example um, of a bag when you're like purchasing like a certain amount of products from like certain brands they are giving you this like a bag for free with like little freebies you have to reach the certain like threshold to qualify for that freebie so you have to spend more to get the freebie but then once you get that bag you're using it every day it's like a good reminder for you about the about the brand because like you're literally seeing it on your countertop every day so yeah it's a, it's a, it's a good way to like approach things and we also like mentioned this um example previously but the way you sort of like market your bundles is very important um i've tested it with multiple of my clients with multiple bundles that we've done so when we are saying like get x percent off for for this certain bundle for most of my clients it performs not as well as when we say like get two products get get two products and uh get the third one for free so basically it's like the same the same thing um the same or like a similar offer just like di different wording different like design different copy around it and people do respond better to that like uh freebie thing uh but yeah obviously it depends on your audience who you work with and what they respond to really well Okay, the third sort of like way to increase your average order value is also a no brainer, especially if you are selling the products that people are coming back to buy again and again and again subscriptions subscriptions is like a model it's not a new model definitely but i've seen like a big growth in this business model over the last few years andre tell us more about this model like briefly for those of you who don't know uh sure so uh, here in this example to increase average order value i strongly recommend uh, if you have option in your own business to add a subscription or you currently have a subscription to add another tier of your subscription so you might sell juices for example and you have a 10 uh, subscri monthly subscription for 10 bottles and let's say 20 bottles which is double and double might be a little bit cheaper but by default the average order value will be increased because they are ordering from that second tier subscription right no i love this business model it's just like owes its success to the convenience for both like the business because you can pretty much you can like predict your revenue which makes this business model so so beautiful you can like predict your revenue you can predict the inventory that you need to have in stock but for me as a customer it's also it has also like a bunch of benefits because my favorite product is being delivered to me on a monthly or a weekly or like yearly basis i don't know i love this model i do have to say i had to like unsubscribe from like a lot of brands recently uh, just because like i'm trying to save money uh, and the only uh, like physical product that i'm like still receiving to my door um every month is the coffee i got this like amazing african coffee it's like kenyan coffee and it's like the best but it's the delivery from um uh, directly from amazon and i actually got it after we came back from africa because i did enjoy oh, really? yes i did enjoy you their like local it's it's the like name? the most it's like the most basic like unbranded thing ever but the coffee itself is really good i'm like i i, I, I can tell name? Um, I'll have to find it on Amazon because it's like, it's unbranded. You're like literally receiving just like a clear plastic bag of whole beans and, uh, yeah, but it's good. It's, it's, it's really good. Send, send, I, it, send it my way because I'm a big coffee fan. So yeah, well, typically yeah. I drink Lavazza, so, but I would like to try something new. 
No, this one is good. I'm going to send you the link um, after the call for sure. Okay, cool. So do you have any like subscription services that you are getting? I know your kids are getting like the subscription for <laughs> yeah. books or something, but do you have any subscriptions? No, that you like from, uh, from brand, individual brands, like brand stores. No, I don't. I used to have a better brand, one of our clients, uh, the uh -huh. protein bagels. But I, I ate them so much, so many that I was, I'm just sick and tired of them. So I, I took a break. But I do have a lot of subscription on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And it's mostly household things. It's like uh, dishwasher pods, uh, the, the detergent, coffee, and m my vitamins. And it's a cool thing that I, I have all data in... Um, Amazon so I can like space it when the last time I order mm -hmm. so I was like every four months and I find out another thing about Amazon which I was not aware they give you 5% to start subscription but mm -hmm. after third uh, automatic order it goes to 10% off Ooh, I didn't realize yes. that yeah so you need it will not help you with average order value but it will have help you with a lifetime value of the customer right. because with you incentivize them yeah, you incentivize them to stay longer. That's that's cool. I didn't realize that. I've been like subscribed to that coffee for a while now, and I didn't realize that they had ten percent off. They probably need to like advertise better because I would be their customer anyways. But ten percent sounds like a like a good uh, incentive to me. I'm not sure if it's available on all, but I so far I saw on all Amazon Prime Prime subscriptions. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cool. Okay. Well, one more uh, popular strategy that a lot of brands are using is offering products in bulk. Um, Andre, what's like? Can you explain like what's the biggest difference between like offering products in bulk and like bundles? <laughs> Just like so we bundles, understand the, the difference. Sure. So bundles, I would consider something that uh, the brand uh, combine and tell you like here's a bundle, buy it. And bulk uh, offer this, uh, it's meaning you can kind of combine it yourself. And because you order so many of the same t-shirt mm -hmm. or in the company, in our company, we send, when somebody start working with us, we send this like free to focus planner from Mike Hyatt uh, company and they have different tiers. So if we buy five planners, it's uh, like, like 5%. If we buy... Mm -hmm. Uh, like 20 it's, it's just bulk so you're buying the same product but more of it so it's mostly for something consumable some uh, clothing brands ha have it we recently bid on a true classic brand and they are every day like every day wear for uh, men's and they mm -hmm. have a lot of, if you go to their store you can build your 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 own kind like of capsule, uh, package right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's, uh, they will discount you based on that how many pro products you have. So it's That's very cool. it's very similar, but depends how you kind of present to your customers. Similar idea though, like the more you buy, the more you save. Kind of like you encourage your customers to yeah, spend it's more. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, you encourage yeah. your customers to spend more just like to to kind of save more. <laughs> <laughs> so, so there's a, a, a quick quick story about like the more you buy, you more you save. So there's like cool advertising on on a radio about Disney, the, some Disney new park or theme park, mm -hmm. and then that at the end they are saying, so you should start saving now. Like, you know, like, yeah. save, like, because it costs so much that you should start saving now for that, like, trip to Disney. Maybe that's not what they meant. Maybe they meant, like, you should start saving now. So we are, like, giving you discount for this, uh, for this vacation or something. So you should start saving. I don't know. It's just, like, I, I, out I don't think, I, 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 they didn't emphasize any discount unless I missed it. Yeah, because okay. there is, like, there is, like, a lot of memes going on, like, TikTok, TikTok and Reels about, like, it's called the girl meth. Um, so, basically, when you, like, there's this girl that says, like, honey, I bought three t-shirts and I, and I saved $10, so it means that I made $10. So, that's, that's pretty much, <laughs> like, I, I made, I brought $10 to our family budget. He's like, no, that's not how it works. But, like, in, in my mind, very often, this is, like, exactly how it works, and um, I, I love it. You know that game, like, discount. when you give somebody $20, they give you, like, 10 back, uh, uh, and you give them 5 back, and it's, like, at the end, it's, like, here's 20 for you, 20 
funny for me and it's like i i should i, I need to find that video i'll send it to you it's like so confusing <laughs> very confusing but, it doesn't doesn't even sound legit i don't know well anyways loyalty programs is uh, tactic number five um loyalty programs it's basically like a lot of brands use them to encourage uh, customers again to spend more and build their loyalty uh towards the brand um and i'm, I'm sure you guys might be a part of like a lot of loyalty programs it's when you're like collecting starbucks po starbucks points or when you're like collecting uh discounts with certain brands or when you're collecting different like um stars or like free um free shoes i remember there was this like promotion with one of the shoes brands i was uh shopping for um so andre what's like what's the deal with loyalty programs and how they can help you to increase the aov yeah so it loyalty program in most cases it's all uh, it's it's greatest tool for retention and l lifetime value but how you can increase aov so they order more so you can put different threshold so for example if you order between zero to fifty dollars uh it's like one x point so for every dollar you will ha get one uh, one point but if you spend let's say 51 dollar plus it would be two x points so you encourage them you kind of incentivize them to spend more for more points which and that those points they can redeem uh, in, like later not all loyalty program has this option but um, the platform loyalty lion they do have it you are able to set up those kind of rules and you can run it on autopilot so it doesn't have to be you don't have to change it every time but you can set, set up those threshold let's say if your average order value 50 dollars you can put it to 55 60 70 dollars to mm. x point and see how your AOV will grow. I found this actually study uh, about the company called Organifi. So it's like a juices company or a supplement company or something. And they actually said that their reward redeeming members, uh, they were 3.70 times the, the average order value of those customers or their orders were 3.75 times more than their uh non redeeming members so basically customers who was like redeeming their points or they were like working towards achieving that goal or achieving their reward their average order value was like 3.70 times higher so the loyalty programs they do work uh but you just need to find the right way to motivate your customers to um to spend more to earn more uh, basically it just like adds that like little layer of gamification and uh yeah i i love a good loyalty program actually i'm like right now i'm uh, i have the mcdonald's app and i've never went to mcdonald i maybe went to mcdonald's like once a year before i got the app but now they introduced this monopoly game where you get like the stickers and then you have to enter the discount code from the stickers and uh, it's it's like embarrassing but i've been to mcdonald's three times this week just like to get that sticker because i do want that like universal um all-inclusive universal studio vacation even though i've been there like three times just like i still wanna i bet on it Bye. Hardly. Buy an iPhone for $1,200 and get Apple sticker. Apple sticker, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I saw this uh, real video. I should stop hanging out on social media so much where they just like <laughs> took this um, box from like the Apple, from the iPhone. And they say like a lot of people don't realize that. But if you open the box, like, you know, there is like this like thing where yeah. they put the phone on but if you open it there will be free airpods in like in, inside <laughs> <laughs> i did believe it and i was like my husband was like are you for real how cool would that be but i mean they don't even give you the adapter anymore so i don't think they would give you it's like uh, when uh, uh, when i heard some guy created the the app on my phone when the app creation was popular the, the thing back in the days and he created the um, traffic light switcher so like when you turn it on the lights <laughs> are switching <laughs> switching to green 
Well, actually, I'm learning something new about like iPhone every day. You know, uh, Harry Potter. Are you like the part of the Harry no, Potter no, now craziness? No, no. I, well, there like I know there is such a thing. Yeah, there exists, are like some but... certain like magic spells. For example, when you're like saying "glumus," the light goes on. And check this out. What I learned, guys. If you're like watching us on on YouTube, definitely like come closer to the watches. screens because it's pretty pretty cool. Hey Siri, Lumus. You see? Oh, it's like light. Oh, sorry, my. No, I didn't my, see. You don't see. It's basically turned on the light. It turned uh, on the yeah, light yeah, on yeah, my yeah, I, I see, phone. I see. It's just yeah. yeah, it's hard to see because I have like a lot of light. Yeah, so. Oh yeah, I see. Yeah. Nice. It's pretty cool. Yeah, and so basically, iPhone understand basic Harry Potter spells. Yeah. It's uh, it's pretty cool, you guys. Yeah, so it has nothing to do with AOV, but it's just pretty nothing cool. to do with AOV. <laughs> <laughs> but, but just like a cool thing, like a lot of things you can learn on TikTok, you guys. <laughs> a lot of very u useful things. Want to discover how much money your email marketing can actually bring you? If that's the case, let our team of email marketing experts show you how. With our free email marketing audit, we'll conduct a comprehensive analysis of your email marketing efforts, provide you with an action plan, and show you how to effectively segment and convert your audience. Simply go to flowium.com slash audit and book your audit today. Another excellent um, way to improve your AOV is to upsell during or after checkout. Um, tell me more about it, Andre. Sure. So basically, you want to. Either, it doesn't matter if you're like before or after checkout, uh, during checkout or after checkout, same kind of strategy applies, different maybe tactic, different different like uh, like copy and images uh, offers, but in general the same. So basically you are offering the same, more of the same product. So in Vera's case, if she orders uh, like coffee, uh, the up, upsell might be like, hey, order more coffee and you will get that discount. So kind of it comes back to the bulk discount, uh, like, or, hey, you are, I don't know, $10 away from getting free something. So the idea here just to, to, to kind of sell them more, pro more of the product they're already ordering. Right. Or if you have the subscription program, which, as we already learned, you absolutely should have, um, you can also upsell your subscription at the checkout, which is huge, honestly. And this is like the ideal scenario when you're like getting one-time customers and turning them into re return buyers right away. Um, and you can offer the discount uh, for like subscription order. You can offer like some sort of like incentives. Um, maybe you can even offer the higher discount for the first time um, for the first time subscribers or the higher discount for the first months of subscription and then go down. So yeah, or like Amazon is doing the other way apparently. So that's a huge one as well. Okay, so uh, point number seven, a cross sell after the checkout. Um, how is it different from upsell? Let's start from the basics, Andre. Sure, so it's basically we want to sell different complementary products. So in the previous, ex uh, previous um, strategy for upsell, I gave that example of you buying coffee and it was buying more of the same co coffee. In this example, like if you buy coffee, uh, the brand wants to cross sell you something different, for example, a creamer. Uh, recently, my wife ordered the mushroom coffee and they uh, cross sell her in the in the package. They had the insert with a discount for the, the mushroom creamer. If you want to increase average order value, because it's um, it needs to be attributed for one uh, for specific uh, order. Mm -hmm. uh, you uh, you want to cross sell during checkout or after checkout. Okay, I see. And there are like tons of brands who can help you, or not the brands, tons of Shopify apps that can help you to like upsell that like during or after the checkout process, like rebuy. I think Card Hook is doing that as well. I mean, there are like a gazillion of little apps that can help you to do that. And normally you can even like decide on that customer journey, say like if the customer purchased like this specific coffee, promote them like this specific creamer, or if their cart, if their average order value is like, 
like X, like promote this product that cost like X dollars. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I love that. Um, there's like not much you can do with like cross selling during the checkout with like email wise, because like everything is happening there, but like after, um, but like with using Shopify apps or whatever other platform you are using, um, you can like optimize your checkout process a lot. Actually, that mushroom coffee example, um, I, I don't remember if I told you or not, but like back in the day, <laughs> back in the day, like a year ago, uh, me and my husband, we that was actually one of our products that we never launched, uh, the mushroom matcha and mushroom coffee. We like spent... Mm ton of ton of time ton of ton of money to like develop the formula and it was like amazing the functionality wise it was like the best probably the best that is on the market but it tasted like socks so we like never ended up <laughs> launching it unfortunately so if natalia if your wife likes uh, that coffee um that she's like drinking let, if let she me likes, know like, taste of, uh, t- taste <laughs> no 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 i mean if she, i mean if she likes the coffee that she ordered i want to know what uh, coffee was it because uh, Raza something on uh, starts on R. They yeah. have there's a gazillion of them. Yeah, attractive uh, email marketing. So we're trying to approach them. Yeah, yeah, like a lot of a lot of those brands lately. So cool. Okay, referral programs. Tactic number eight. What are referral, referral programs? programs like some, uh, what it sounds so basically, you refer somebody to to the brand, and s- the person you refer will get some kind of incentives and you will get incentives because you refer them however right. if standalone referral program will not help you to increase average order value unless you will add some kind of threshold so i would strongly recommend to maybe um have a very attractive discount attractive uh, referral program like at least like twenty dollars, twenty five, thirty dollars off, but add your threshold so the average order value is uh, so it's above average order order value. So this right. is so, yeah. so basically like all of the referral programs they can be um, like described in one principle. It's like a give and get principle, right? You 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 give twenty dollars, you get twenty dollars. You like give Airbnb referral, you get Airbnb credit, and that's actually that example of Airbnb I mentioned uh, on purpose because that's pretty much how they build their business at the beginning, back when they launched. Like when was it? Like 2012, 13? I don't know. It was like a long time ago. Um, that's how they. Um, basically like talked about or how that they didn't have much money for marketing and that's how they promoted um they are brand through give and get um kind of situation so i love a good referral program okay cool. so you had something to say andre no 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 it's just cool yeah, no, I, I, I love their Airbnb referral program. I still use it all the time. Um, that's actually how I became Airbnb host host back in the day, because like one of the hosts recommended me to do that. And once you like set up your Airbnb and host the first um, sort of like the, you, you get the first guest or whatever, you get the money um, as well, like an Airbnb. But you credit. cannot, uh, I, I might be wrong, but I, I don't think they have it for renting. They, oh, sorry, for to run the place, it's only uh, referrals if you refer a new host to, to the no, program. They have, they they have to... I think, for the new guest as well. Like, if you've never been a guest of Airbnb, they have some sort of, like, a referral program. I think they well. discontinue. Maybe. Like they discontinue. It's been a while. It's been a while since I, like, joined the Airbnb. So, uh, yeah. But it's still a really cool a really cool program. And if you don't have at least, like, some sort of um, referral program in place, definitely think about investing in one. It's not that expensive. And you can, like, completely automate the process with uh, different uh, apps. Um, and, uh, yeah, definitely worth an investment. Okay, Andre, number nine, extras. Uh, tell me more about it because I, I'm, I'm sure you, you've put this presentation together. So tell me about the extras and what do you mean by this? So if you, in the example, in the, our cheat sheet that you can download on our website, flowing.com slash AAV, we have a Tesla example, uh, but actually you might might have the same experience in any dealership when you go to buy a new car uh, you just buy a car the basic car and then you're like 
I want, um, I don't know, like some some extra feature, some extra thing, and basically it adds up to to the cost of the car. Same thing with e-commerce store. If you are able to add some extras to your product, it will definitely increase average order value for for your. Um, yeah, for your right. for your store. Right. So the the products, the main difference between all of the other strategies that we discuss here is that these products they have to be like complementary to the product that the customer is purchasing. Like a lot of tech tech brands are doing that. When you're like purchasing the phone, they like offer you to buy the case, the the extra charger, the, the plug, whatever. So this is a very popular um, strategy, and if done right, it actually can have a big impact on uh, your potential uh, grow of average order value. Value. Number 10, this is the strategy that we discussed on our previous episode. And this is the strategy that um, our fellow Flowy marketeer Andrea loves a lot. Shout out to you, Andrea. Number 10, get a free gift when you buy X. Um, Andre, tell us more about this freebie strategy. So this works again with some kind of thresholds. You cannot have, let's say, I don't know, five dollar socks on your store and get get a free gift. There's supposed to be some conditions when you're getting that gift. And basically, again, the, all the strategies that we describe, the goal is to have that threshold higher than your average order value. And same thing here. Maybe it's a place order of two products or like a place an order of $50, $60 and above and get the free product. So in the example we have, it's a sticker mule. And if you place an order for $100 or more, and in the example here is $124, they add a mule soles, it's a hot soles, uh, to your kind of cart for free as a gift. Yeah, I love this example because how random it is, right? We, we used this example before, but I just like, I love how random it is and yet it works. Like stickers and sauce, like they are from different planets, but it does work. With some of my clients, we've done like similar, but the products were like more complimentary, you know, like we had pad brands where we were like, giving for free the, the the dog toy, or we were giving for free like the poop bags that they are using all the time, the owners of the brand. But the sauce and stickers, I, I like this combo. It's a crazy combo, if you ask me. <laughs> um, that's a good one. Yeah, everyone loves a good freebie. I know I do. Um, so, And I love when you can choose your own freebie. That's like the entire uh, extra level that you can add to your checkout experience. Uh, where you can choose the product based on the information you volunteered in the past. That's what like a lot of skincare brands doing, a lot of makeup brands are doing. Uh, that's very powerful. Okay, number 11. I don't have fingers left, so just like number 11, <laughs> super premium options. I love when something starts with like super or hyper or something or this like big loud words. What are super premium options, Andre? So it's basically, it's a premium version of your product. Uh, so an example can be in a um, previous slide, we had a do Dollar Shave Club example, and they have like, oh, this is subscription uh, for like a category, but if you want a razor with like more blaze, blaze looks cooler, this is this much. And if you like want super duper uh, like, 38 blades in the eraser, uh, you can pay more. So basically it's a same product, do the same function for you, but just premium version. So it's kind of, there's a lot of like of perceived value. Mm, like a different packaging almost. Uh, you know who does it really, really well? Um, there is this brand, it's a Finnish brand called Aura Ring this is this okay. is the ring mm -hmm. basically yeah. it's rings mm -hmm. that uh, like analyzes your sleep so they had this collaboration i think with gucci or something uh where mm. they had like a branded ring it it looked different i mean the same materials or like majority of the materials are the same maybe some of them are a bit more like high end but they were like cross selling or not cross selling they were like offering this option at the checkout for you so like instead of the product that you already have in your card they were like hey 
Maybe you want to spend like one million dollar more and get the same identical ring, but with Gucci symbol yeah, on it. Yeah, because the status. Listen, it's yeah. a status. Like you, you, I have a not the how is order. I don't have aura ring. I'm not just basic aura ring. I have a Gucci aura ring. It's you a do? special edition. Uh, Oh, it's an no, example. I, <laughs> I thought you actually. <laughs> no, I don't. I, no, no. <laughs> that would look badass on you, Andre. I'm not <laughs> like... a fan of uh, flashy brands. Uh, I wear kind of. Ex- I do uh, wear expensive products, but uh, probably ninety percent of people listening to this podcast don't, don't know those brands, and they don't have any labels on the products. I love. I love a good flashy brand. Give me a good flashy brand. It's like, yeah. I um I was like uh, uh, upsold by Apple recently instead like I paid extra for the golden strap for my watch not the regular no, like, like gray or whatever brand, I, I but I know what you mean the, like, like the big yeah. logos and like yes, all this yes, like yeah. symbols of status um yeah in Vancouver like we do have like a you know, like yeah a I know what you mean. Chest. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you mean, Andre. <laughs> um, okay, yeah, that's a that's a good one. Super premium options. Um, it's fun. It's different. Um, you can definitely try it if you have budgets for that, and if you have like loyal uh, fans. And if you don't have loyal fans, what are you even doing in business? I'm joking. Number twelve, the last one, the last one, but the big one: memberships. Andre, you have like a lot of ideas about memberships. It's similar to subscription, but at the same time, it's different. And I'll give you an example from a. I, I went to dinner yesterday. There were a lot of founders, and he told me about this kind of similar strategy. So he goes to a court, uh, the tennis court, and there's two options: you buy membership to the gym, and you still pay to go there every for every day you go there, you pay. It's it like sounds crazy. But it's like a little bit discounted rate versus mm-hmm. if you go there just once or twice, it's just you pay one price for that specific day. It's kind of influx of cash at one time. So basically you're getting the the average order value plus mem- membership for the entire year, year for example. So it's, a, um, it's kind of harder maybe to implement in the, in the e-commerce, uh, e-commerce space, but Amazon is a great example of how they, uh, how they do it. A lot of brands, we actually have this example in the PDF. Uh, go to flowium.com slash AOV. Uh, but a lot of brands that are uh, like selling expensive of like designer items like for example i think the brand called article i might be wrong maybe it was like something else the furniture brand so they have the members price and non members price and i'm pretty sure that you have to pay uh to be in that like members club and when you are in that members club you're getting like early access to all of the sales you're getting uh, like a discounted rate so if they like in a way uh, encourage you to spend more with the brand and to stay loyal to the brand uh, yeah so that's a really cool model i to be honest i haven't seen it a lot in the e-commerce because you probably need to be in that uh, a bit more like a high-end-ish uh, e-com- part of the e-commerce i guess but that's a fun one sure yeah okay guys so there you have it so we're done 12 12 amazing ways to improve your aov if there are any other ways that we haven't mentioned in our podcast please uh go to our whatsapp channel and uh yeah and uh send us a quick message we always love to talk to fellow marketeers yeah, yeah. And, and just to uh, like how to find us just go to flowing.com slash whatsapp and it will redirect you to the whatsapp channel and you can message me you can message vera you can ask any kind of questions and we are like i'm personally checking every day and responding to people in the chat yeah well thank you so much for listening all of the links we just described or discussed will be in the description box so make sure to check them out thank you so much and we'll talk to you next tuesday bye hey if you're watching this and you like what you see please hit subscribe and hit the bell because it helps us grow our channel.